Long time no see. What a great game, man. Bad y'all. I was posting something on Facebook. Texting my boys. All right, let's continue, shall we? I think I was finding the last of the codex pages. I'm not entirely certain. leave until I do, right? Oh yeah, three three out of four. Alright. <gasps> I didn't even mean to I didn't even mean to do that. Shit. the fourth codex page, man. I'm not stopping until I find one. That I meant to do. Just want to be clear. Here, but where is the where's the fourth one? Oh, well, I found one on each of the corners. It's gotta be in the center of town. Uncle Mario is just watching, like this idiot man. I hear it. What is this? Ah! Must be a drunken wager or something. I was down here already, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. I 
was getting really hopeful there, but I found it. Whatever. Peace, friend. What's come over you? Why? Aren't you? Never no, no. I don't want to know. Me me. Run, run, run! It always takes me back to the to the damn villa, bro. Like where what like where in the hell is this fourth codex page, man? I've looked literally everywhere for it, bro. Served up is Sorry guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to look up a guy. Oh, I got synchronized in the city. I mean I'm a fucking idiot. That's why I can't find it. I had a, I had a second off the city. something that I was missing. That didn't help me at all. Am I stupid, bro? You're messing with me, man. You serious? Really? It was outside the whole time? I have to go outside, don't I? Amico!
I could have just looked on the map the whole time, man. Damn it. I never would have thought to look here. Well, there's that. Y'all can tell I'm an awful assassin, Assassin's Creed player. said that it showed you on your map and I just wasn't looking at the map. I'm an idiot. Ezio was getting his uh, workout, I'll say that much. We will. I could have just taken a horse to make it go by faster, but no. That's who needs to get his work out of it. business here? Uh, I think I already read this. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Hmm. I have a statue, I thought. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? So that statue just doesn't mean anything? A presto, Ezio. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess. 
But I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto! He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? All right, let's do this. Buon viaggio. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Hey, let's go. It's a lot of money. Presto, Ezio. Ezio, my boy, I think it's time I showed you something. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I was just drinking. I'm gonna try not to talk during cutscenes. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Okay.
What's my mission? The, where is the objective marker? raining. Unless I'm going crazy. Look at the sky, man. That's crazy. He trained for two years, man? That's just crazy. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Has been two years, huh?
Okay. There we go. How's our blood, man? Ain't that something? Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox? Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Here, make me. You're making a big mistake, my friend. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Alright, I'm gonna end the part here. Back for part two in a second. <laughs>